Hey, good morning, friend. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation. Thank you for joining us today. We all know the story of Genesis 4 and the saga of Cain and Abel. Abel brings the firstlings of the flock to offer to God and is accepted. Cain brings of the fruit of the ground the work of his own hands and is rejected by God. He then becomes very envious at Abel over what Abel has done, bitter in soul. God has a meeting with Cain and speaks to him directly. And God says to Cain in Genesis chapter number 4 and verse number 7, he says, Cain, if thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. He is very simply telling Cain, I'm giving you the opportunity to make this right if you would. But the envy in his heart toward his brother is so great, he le it leads him to killing his own brother. Envy is one of the worst sins in the Bible. It was uh, a Webster, Noah Webster, in his 18 di 1828 dictionary that defined envy as to feel uneasiness, mortification, or discontent at the sight of superior excellence, um, reputation, or happiness enjoyed by another person, to repine at another's prosperity, to fret or grieve oneself at the real or supposed superiority of another person, and to hate them on that account. It was... Uh, this verse that Noah Webster used to describe it, Proverbs 3 and verse 31, where the Bible said, Envy not the oppressor. The statement that gripped my heart by Webster was the last statement he made in definition where he made this statement. He said, Whoever envies another confesses his or her superiority. Envy is a wicked thing. Job said the wrath uh, that wrath killeth a foolish man and envy slayeth a silly one. He very simply said this, to be an envious individual is to be a silly, silly individual. In Romans 1, when the Lord was uh, through the apostle Paul was telling us about the individuals who was heading into reprobation, they would be reprobated because of their, their choices of sin in life, he includes in that list that they were filled with all ungod unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, and they are full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, and whisperers. This business of envying another is included with some very egregious sins. So I ought to watch myself and be contented with such things as I have. The story was given to me in my reading about two shoe cobblers in England. The two shoe cobblers in the story operated just uh, across the road from one another in a busy little city. They were constantly in competition and neither one of them liked the other because they were in the same business. One day, a, uh, an angel appeared before one cobbler and said, I will grant you one wish, but when I grant you this wish, I want you to know that I am giving the storekeeper, the other cobbler across the street, double what I give you. The shoe cobbler thought on it for quite a while, and then he said this, So, whatever you give me, you're going to give him double. He said, yes, that's what I'm going to do. He said, then I know my request. The angel said, what is it? He said, make me blind in one eye. Make me blind where I cannot see in one eye and bless him with double. You see, envy leads to some very dark places. Be contented with such things as you have and follow the example of the Apostle Paul. God bless you, my friend. Have yourself a great cup of coffee and a grand day.